Symbol Ride, Lordstown. Lordstown Motors files for bankruptcy, shares crash. Now, bankruptcy, not that interesting to me. Well, what I did find interesting is they're filing bankruptcy because of cash flow and earnings, I'm sure. But they actually have cash on the balance sheet. This is tangible book value on the chart. They must have assets that, that spit out this value of 11 bucks. Maybe that's why, although it was down, I don't know what, 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 how much was it down? It was down some huge amount after filing for bankruptcy, 58%. It's up right now from the open, like 20 something, even more, some huge amount, 80%. Fascinating. Let's look at, well, first, let me just go to their website. Let me decline. Lord's Town Motors, electric vehicle, vehicle company. Let's look at the chart on the monthly. Uh, must have been some kind of a SPAC situation because look what it did. Shot up and then was, was wrecked. Let's go to Seeking Alpha. And if you go to Seeking Alpha, you can look at their earnings, negative, negative, negative. So sometime way in the future, maybe they were going to make some money. Uh, but they ran out of time. If you look at their capital structure, it says zero debt, $176 million in cash. While the whole company right now is $44 million, which gives this a negative enterprise value so that must be why people are bidding it up because they're hoping that after they reorganize in bankruptcy that there's some money left over that has to be the bet i jumped over to the seeking alpha article and it looks like the dispute they have a, dis a dispute with foxconn technology group some issue over production of trucks. And then if you scroll down further, they state in the article, they have listed as much as 500 million, which is like 10 times what the market cap of the stock is, 10 times assets and liabilities in the filing. There's a ton of assets. So they're looking to protect themselves from liabilities because there's a, pro a production problem let me just look at let me look at the balance sheet again so doing a quick review if we look at the short term current assets 192 million total assets 272 not a lot of liabilities 59 and some preferred equity so if we look at the common equity 181 that's still like five times what uh, is on on the books uh, on the uh, market cap so it's going to be interesting to watch i'm not a buyer i just want to want to see it uh, i'm i'm involved in other tangible book value opportunities uh, another reason this is interesting is that anybody who's a rivian trader uh, Rivian is right at the book value. So Rivian is also a money loser until their sales increase. So very possible that it trades below all the tangible book value, which would be unfortunate. But when these companies don't make money, they have to fund operations somehow. Very fascinating.